if alpha is a root of 4x square plus 2x minus 1 equals to 0, then show that 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha is another root. Okay, he has given that the quadratic equation is 4x square plus 2x minus 1 equals to 0. For this one, one root he has given as alpha and another root asking us to show another root. What is another root? 4, four times of alpha cube minus 3 alpha is the root of the given quadratic equation. So, this is a special type of problems in quadratic equations. The roots are given in polynomials. Okay, the roots are given in polynomial. That means it is a cube. Okay, alpha cube. Okay, it is a cubic equation, cubic expression. So, the roots are in the polynomials. We need to reduce the polynomial roots. Okay, we need to reduce the polynomial roots. Okay, by reducing the polynomial roots, then we can solve the, what is asking, show that, okay, we can so easily solve the given problem. Okay, so that means how to reduce this? To reduce this, but he has given another root. What is another root? Alpha is a root. Okay, so what is the definition of a root? Root is nothing but a value which satisfies the given quadratic equation. Okay, so now alpha is a root means by putting the value of alpha in place of x, it has to be satisfied the quadratic equation. So if alpha is a root, okay, given that he has given alpha is root then the quadratic equation can be written as now this quadratic equation can be written as 4 alpha square plus 2 alpha minus 1 equals to 0 why because alpha is a root root is nothing but a value which satisfies the given equation okay from this one we can write 4 alpha square equals to okay 4 alpha square equals to 1 minus 2 alpha okay so from this data let we try to reduce this 4 alpha cube what is another root 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha let we try to reduce this condition so how we will obtain this 4 into alpha into so we can write a 4 alpha square into alpha alpha cube can be written as alpha square into alpha minus 3 alpha now we are trying to reduce so we can write as alpha into what is 4 alpha square just we obtained over here 1 minus 2 alpha we can write as 1 minus 2 alpha minus 3 alpha then we can write this is as alpha minus 2 alpha square minus 3 alpha okay so from this one we can write this is as what it is minus 2 alpha square minus 2 alpha okay minus 2 alpha square minus 2 alpha and again this is alpha square okay alpha square can be written from this above we can write it as alpha square equals to 1 minus 2 alpha by 4 okay we can write this is as minus 2 into 1 minus 2 alpha by 4 minus 2 alpha okay 1 minus 2 alpha by 4 minus 2 alpha and the resultant is what it is it will be a what is 1 by 2 and if we multiply over here with minus minus 1 by 2 plus what it is minus 2 alpha by 2 so minus into minus plus which is nothing but alpha minus 2 alpha so the required result what we are obtaining over here alpha minus 2 alpha means minus alpha minus 1 by 2 okay so the given root what is 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha okay with the given conditions okay from the given conditions we are reducing the polynomial root as minus alpha minus 1 by 2 okay 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha result into minus alpha minus 1 by 2 he is asking us to show this is root of the given equation if this is a root the value of this 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha has to satisfy the given quadratic equation 4x square plus 2x minus 1 equals to 0 that means simply replace x with 
minus alpha minus 1 by 2. Actually, the x has to be replaced with 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha, but we reduced the given polynomial to minus alpha minus 1 by 2. Then, if we substitute over here 4 into x is replaced by minus alpha minus 1 by 2 whole square plus 2 into minus alpha minus 1 by 2 minus 1. We are checking. Okay. Now, if this is equals to 0, then it has to satisfy the condition. So, the LHS we are considering and we are substituting the value of x as minus alpha minus 2 that is nothing but 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha then will this results to 0 or not if this results to 0 the x that means minus alpha minus 1 by 2 is satisfying the x or is satisfying the equation that means x is equals to minus alpha minus 1 by 2 is a root that means 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha is another value for x which satisfies the given equation. Let me write whether this results to 0 or not. What it is if we consider over here, if we take minus as a common, minus of alpha plus 1 by 2 whole square, minus square means plus, it is in the form of a plus b whole square and we can write it as a square plus b square plus 2 a b and minus 2 alpha minus 1 minus 1 okay minus 2 alpha minus 1 minus 1 which is equals to 4 alpha square okay 4 alpha square plus the resultant what uh, we are obtaining 4 alpha square plus 1 okay and uh, 2 and 2 cancelled out 4 alpha and minus 2 alpha minus 2 okay right so, but 4 alpha square, what we obtain again, we need to use, okay, the required conditions, whatever the condition, 4 alpha square can be written as 1 minus 2 alpha, we can write this is 4 alpha square equals to 1 minus 2 alpha plus 1 plus 4 alpha minus 2 alpha minus 2. So, we can write this is as minus 2 alpha minus 2 alpha minus 4 alpha plus 4 alpha will cancel out and plus 1 plus 1 results to plus 2 and minus 2 results to 0 which is equals to RHS. Okay, so that means the minus alpha minus 1 by 2 is satisfying the given quadratic equation means the minus alpha and minus 1 by 2 is root of the given quadratic equation. So, whereas minus alpha minus 1 by 2 is nothing but 4 alpha cube minus 3 alpha. Then we can say that the 4 alpha cube and minus 1 by 3 is another root of the given what is the quadratic equation i think now you understand how to solve these type of problems so whenever the roots are given in polynomials we have to reduce the polynomials okay by reducing the polynomials we will obtain the required condition